said, we don't really know some of the... Yeah, we'll get through this Champions Club. Uh, it's, yeah, I, I know it's a tough... Uh, it's, because I don't know this one well. Life's weird Maybe right now. I, we'll get through this, okay? And, uh... Hey, Christopher. <laughs> fuck. What's up, guys? It's Keith from the Score Esports, and let's cut to the chase. Everybody's got the same question on their mind. What the hell is going on with Dr. Disrespect? Well, we went live early this week over on our Twitch channel to talk about everything going on with this news. Colin, Dimitri, Devin, and I went deep on what we think happened, whether we think he's actually banned for life, and what we think he did. You don't want to miss this one. If we're going to talk about Doc, like, we need to ground ourselves. We need to start from the beginning because it's only been, like, what, like, 72 hours, but it's been crazy so far. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Keith, I would definitely appreciate it if you could just start at where it started and right. we'll go from there. Okay, so on Friday, I believe, we had this tweet from Slasher, who obviously is, a, is someone we get a lot of breaking uh, esports news from. And it just says... Flat out, sources, Dr. Disrespect has been permanently banned from Twitch. After that, there was a bunch of speculation about what was going on and why it happened. We saw an advertisement with his sponsor, or previous sponsor, or whatever, we're not 100% sure, Game Fuel, where he, he, they had previously had a photo of Dr. Disrespect on their Twitter, and took it down, and then put it back up, and now it's down again. And people were like, hmm, you know, maybe there's maybe there's some validity here um, to what Slasher was saying. And then we had, uh, you know, some follow-up reports, uh, a report from Kotaku, PC Gamer, you know, the the, the normal um, um, written r r reports when it comes to gaming news with quotes uh, from Twitch ba that basically said uh, Doc had violated terms of service and that was basically all we got from the situation. You know, there was a... There was terms of service ban, just like just like any other person that gets banned on Twitch. You know, when Doc went into the bathroom on stream, or you know, when XQC, you know, does something Twitch doesn't like. Uh, there's a terms terms of service ban, and Twitch kind of gets to decide how long they get banned for. Um, yeah, there's some questions in the chat, like which terms of service though, and yeah. that's obviously the trick with an overarching large document like terms of service. It's so broad, and there are lines in there that are very much along the lines of, you know, we can do things at our discretion. Mm -hmm. The whole sort of strength of that kind of system is that they don't have to, it doesn't telegraph what a person has done, right? Twitch can pretty much keep it in their black box, keep it masked if they choose to do so so i think it's worth noting that mm -hmm. um slasher replied to his original tweet on on friday um and said that according to his sources uh the ban does is nothing to do with a dmca so recently there's been a controversy in twitch obviously where people have been getting dmca notices for using copyrighted music as part of their streams and slasher has indicated that according to his sources that's not the case when it comes to doc the next thing we see is from Doc's wife on Instagram, where she posts a photo with some text here. I'll bring it up for you guys right now. It says, The outpouring of love, support, strength, and kindness from the arena has truly been overwhelming. You all have made my heart full, and I cannot thank you enough. No better out there than the CC. You guys are amazing. Much love to you all. And, you know, Slasher put, took that off Instagram, posted it restoke the fuels because this is the first we're hearing from doc's camp obviously nothing specific here at all no reasoning no explanation just thank you for all the support what i saw were where people were kind of theorizing some stuff um based off of uh the fact that she didn't mention doc specifically at all mm -hmm. um which i i thought was a bit much personally my personal take on that is that it, we we shouldn't be jumping off um, based on the fact that she didn't mention, you know, Guy Beam or Dr. Disrespect. I think that's a little bit much because she does specifically call to the Champions Club. Mm -hmm. uh, so his, in other words, his fan base, you know, his his support base uh, out there in the wide world. Um, and I think using that kind of terminology takes a little bit of the wind out of the sails of people saying, oh, well, you know, she didn't call him out by name. So there's got to be something between them. I. I Personally, I think that's a bit much. I, I mean, in a situation like this, I mean, you know, we're all human. Everybody loves a little bit of 
the you know the drama the gossip or whatever but he feeds into it a little bit but i think that there was definitely some speculation that was taken to a level that was uh maybe a little bit too far especially with that post which seemed mostly just like net positive trying to like say something and then we we, we got a post which was very similar from dr disrespect himself right here where he says champions club twitch has not notified me on the specific specific reason behind their decision firm handshakes to all for the sport during this difficult time dr disrespect and then you have guys from the, the streaming community actually see god mode cloaksy love you doc keep your head up or whatever you know a lot of a lot of support for doc uh, on this uh, on this post because you know presumably like most of us nobody really knows what's actually going on here so that's kind of the the extent of the official communication a lot of people have been talking about we've been talking about in the office it's regarding the specific wording there mm -hmm. um and so, somebody asked in twitch chat does he even even he does not know why he was banned right question mark and that is obviously how you would read that statement upon first glance but uh keith is it possible that based on the, the specific wording there's actually a bit of a gray area there yeah so i think it's fair to interpret this or at least when i read this i see it and i go well twitch has not notified me on the specific reason behind their decision and based on you know mine and colin and devin's reporting on twitch that seems reasonable to me it seems reasonable that twitch would not say to him here's explicitly what you did to get banned or here's explicitly what we think you viol how you violated tos that seems completely in line with twitch but when you look at this a little closer, I do think that it's worth pointing out that the fact that Twitch has not notified him on the specific reason behind their decision does not mean that Doc is not aware of the specific reason. It doesn't mean that like he didn't do something worthy of this and then know why that would have happened. You know what I mean? Like if I do something wrong and I get fired, for, for example, I know what I did wrong, even if they say, oh, well, we just found that your your behavior wasn't up to snuff, so we fired you. I know that that action that, that, that crossed the line or whatever. And I'm not saying for sure that, that anything like that happened here with Doc, but all, what I think it's important to note is that this statement doesn't necessarily mean that Doc doesn't know what's going on. It does mean that Twitch doesn't, or he's saying that Twitch didn't notify him, but I think that... To, to say that Doc is sitting at home like, oh, what happened? I think would be a little bit of a stretch. Well, it's, I it's kind of how just, I interpret Just to play it. devil's advocate super quickly, it's, it is also possible that that wording wasn't as calculated as we think, and he doesn't know. It is possible. Of course, of course. One of the interesting things, just to jump off that, Keith, that I saw kind of come out of the official reporting, quote unquote, from Slasher and other journalists, and other multiple people, including popular streamers, um, was Slasher said like, hey, m according to my sources, they have told me the reason why he's been banned, but I don't feel comfortable at this time officially stating that on the record. Like, this is a lot bigger than just, um, hey, here's why he's banned. Like, the implication being maybe there's some legal things that we need to suss out before we can actually accurately report on this. Um, and I thought that was an important uh, kind of distinction that happened over the weekend, because a lot of people were like, why aren't you telling us what happened if you know? And Slasher's whole point was like, well, there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes that we need to get right or I need to get right as a journalist before I can come forward with what I what, with what I know. Right. Or what I've been told. What, what Slasher is saying, and, and you see the tweet here, is that, you know, just because you're told what's happening and that you trust the source doesn't necessarily mean that it's it, it, it's your prerogative to make it public. You know, you have to protect your sources. You know, what what if it what if Slasher said what happened or or, or what didn't happen, and that puts the whoever told him at risk. So there's mm -hmm. a lot go, there's a lot more going on here than like just get information and post tweet. You know, like mm -hmm. that, you got to do a lot more than that to make sure that this stuff is, you know, all all solid. A lot of times for a story this big, you're gonna want multiple confirmed sources before you go go live with this kind of thing there's been uh reports that his discord partnership has been removed there have been reports that his twitch subscribers have been refunded which in my experience covered covering twitch is 
quite new. This isn't something that you, they do to every banned streamer. When when somebody gets banned for a month, they're they're not you know refunding their entire subscription base for that month. No, that's huge. Uh, there's also reports that his emotes have been removed from Twitch, which would uh, which would be in line with his account being banned. Um, and there's also been reports on Twitter that Twitch has gone back and removed uh, integrations between Doc and Twitch from their social media history. So, you know, if they tweeted at him or did a video with him or whatever. And I think what's what's important to remember here is that Dr. Disrespect was a partnered streamer. He, he, he uh, and, and, he, and he signed an exclusivity contract with Twitch not too long ago. You remember that kind of wrestling-esque video that he put out, put out where he's flying in from, from uh, the sky t towards the Twitch logo. Well, yeah, and the, I mean, we've seen reports that he was being paid, like, millions, right? Like, this just wasn't some contract. Yeah. Like, this was a big deal at the yeah, time. Yeah, we're, we're, talking, we're talking, you know, in line with the contracts of the Tims. Uh, obviously, Ninja was the big one for Mixer, but the Tims and the Shrouds mm -hmm. and the Pokemanes and the Dr. Lupas that have signed contracts, Lyric, uh, Josh OG, like, you know, Summit. These are, you know, big names, and they all got a lot of money. And uh, and that's a pretty serious commitment to, to have to give up on you know, just months later. So that, that kind of right. kind of was in line with, with the severity of the situation that people started to feel. And just as an, if I can give an example, uh, Keith, as to the severity of something where Twitch would refund donations. And before I say this again, like we iterated off the top, we have no idea what happened. So this is not a one-to-one -one comparison, but we made that don't at me about Zillion OP, who's the streamer back in the day who faked a disability yeah. and milked money from his audience. Yeah. And when he was found out, Twitch banned him and refunded subscriptions. Yeah. And so that level of action is is potentially what we're looking at. But again, yeah, in terms no of like, yeah, in terms of a, a historical comparison, that's yes. one of the only times I can ever remember Twitch making the decision to refund donations so right it's also a tv show is there not yeah he signed a he signed in a deal um to develop a television show based around his character um and i haven't as of right now i haven't read anything that that's been canceled but it, it would be interesting to, to follow up on that and see what happens there yeah i just ran a search i haven't seen anything yet with skybound uh, yeah yeah, yeah, bed, yeah all those you know so yeah. yeah we knew that that was coming obviously we, there's no like direct information yet whether that has been impacted by whatever is going on here but mm -hmm. i mean that's that's another thing that's sort of up in the air now obviously right now we're in uh, a very very critical time in, in in the gaming world where you know a lot of a lot of brave people are coming forward with accusations and of alleged sexual assault and, and kind of this uh this uh, toxic culture in gaming and esports and streaming and given the timing of this announcement a lot of people uh, speculated that s this move could have had something to do with with that sort of movement that's happening happening on the side um, and I mean personally I was like that was the first thing I thought of. I was like oh maybe 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 it's this now obviously we, we have no idea now Colin I know that you had a you had another uh, another sort of thread of speculation that um that you looked into a little bit over the weekend uh when yeah. you were on twitter yeah one of the whatever you want to call it conspiracy theories um or pr particularly appropriate label in this case or you know uh just just theories about what happened to doc is regarding some of the stuff he was talking about in his last stream uh, Sl uh slasher pointed it out but someone else did before him i believe someone else someone on twitter um pointed out that in his last stream he talked a bit about a guy called david ike um and this is available to view out there um the clip is definitely out there easy for you to find um so basically doc in the last little part of his last stream was talking about how he watched a Netflix documentary on a gentleman called David Icke. And then he, then Doc proceeded to kind of um, paint David Icke in a, in, in a favorable light and say, 
things to the effect of, you know, it's about expanding your mind or looking at truth or waking up and he's kind of cool. You should check him out. And I, I bought his book and I liked his documentary and I kind of dig the guy, right? It was along those lines. Yeah. David Icke. Yes. Alex. Yes. I like him. Little documentary on him. It's pretty enlightening. All it allows you to do is just sort of like, you know, allows you to step outside of the box just a little bit. Whether some of the stuff is not true or not, whatever. I think the whole, the whole goal, though, is... To wake up! And if you don't know who David Icke is, David Icke uh, is... You know, you, you have to call him a fringe conspiracy theorist. There's really no other way to describe this guy. Mm -hmm. This guy, for the last 30 years, pretty much exactly 30, because he had a very famous interview in 1990 where this all popped off, he has been the poster child for insane lizard men conspiracy theories. Basically, this dude legit believes that the world is ruled by a cabal of half lizard, half alien people who control everything and who are the spawn of an internet interdimensional alien uh, race called the Archons or the Anunnaki. Um, if this all sounds like terrible fan fiction to you, well, this is literally what this guy believes. Uh, the, you know, it's not figurative. He he believes it. Um, and here's the here's the problem with that. It all sounds harmless right now, but but the problem is that David Icke has been accused um, over the years several times of uh, espousing anti-Semitic beliefs. Okay, mm -hmm. um, and of and accused of being a Holocaust denier. Okay, and in some of his writings, for example, he supports um, the existence of a of a document called the, I think it's called the Protocols of the Elders of Zion, which is a forged fake document from 100 years ago uh, that is an anti-Semitic in nature. The, the, the thought process behind all this, what I'm getting at, is that, is it possible um, that Dr. Disrespect in his last dream by painting this guy in a positive light by saying, I bought his book, go buy his book, go watch his documentary. He's a good guy, learn from him. Is he promoting someone who promotes hate speech, right? is is he that is that's the question that yeah, is the yeah. question and twitch has every right uh within their tos to disallow someone um from speaking about these kind of issues uh if it, it certainly and certainly if they they think it falls under hate speech um so you know it makes one wonder was that the reason he was banned? And would that get you a permaban? On its own, probably not. But remember that Doc has had a series of escalating bans in the past. This is just not his first go around the merry-go-round. And it is possible that this was a straw that broke the camel's back. That this, that one more ban, no matter what it was for, maybe it was for promoting hate speech, you know, if, if these people's theory is correct, uh, would result in a permanent ban. So I, I thought that was a pretty, interesting line of thought and i and i'll be honest with you guys I, when i watched the clips i was really shocked of, uh uh because i know who david ike is and i've yeah. seen a couple things that he's done and i was really really shocked to see doc um borderline promoting the guy well right. and colin to your point i think you hit it right because doc had two strikes and so in terms of uh punishment from twitch so it's not like what he did wrong needed to be illegal. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Devin. J just to be clear, uh, for those of you who don't know, we Twitch has made it clear in the past that they have a, a strike system. Um, mm -hmm. And that each time you break TOS or, or do something that Twitch doesn't like, you get a strike. And three strikes, you're out. And you, theoretically, that, that would mean the banning of your account, permanent suspension, that right. sort of it, thing. Yeah, but basically that right and so it didn't need this third strike didn't need to be something illegal or heinous or completely over the top it could have just been the fact that he was um reiterating and spouting this kind of uh fringe conspiracy theorist nonsense for twitch to be like all right that's it but in saying that the one thing that gives me pause there is just kind of how hard twitch has gone to remove doc from the the platform's presence in terms right. of re refunding subs and like scrubbing them from social media right. and like 
that just doesn't seem to me like something where like it seems a little more egregious than just that but it it is bad Colin I'm, I'm with you on that uh there's one more big piece of speculation that you know I've seen a little bit on Twitter and you know we talked about a little bit earlier this morning and you know we all know that Doc has a flair for the dramatic <laughs> to say the least that it's definitely he's definitely uh really owned his character over the years and he he's not uh it's not uncommon for him to to kind of uh, get involved in a publicity stunt. So, one thing that we're throwing around this morning is, what if that's what this is? What if Dr. Disrespect is putting on a show? What if what if he's doing this as some sort of, uh, you know, human event? Uh, where he's, he's kind of like, he's kind of f- faking it, or, or not faking it, but trying to put on a, a show for everybody. There is no fucking way that this is a publicity stunt like let me just say that again there's no fucking way like to do this at this time in the social zeitgeist with the movements that are happening now for racial equality for sexual equality um you know everything for police brutality to do that right now would be the worst calculated marketing ploy in recent memory. So mm-hmm. I'm I'm saying there's a 99 point infinite nines chance that this is not a publicity stunt. So I don't want to see any more about that on Twitter. Like for me, look, I, I don't know exactly what happened and I'm not going to speculate about what I think happened because I don't think it's healthy. Like I think adding fuel to the fire is, is kind of unhealthy in, in situations like this, but I, I do I do get a sense of severity. Like the the, the whole refunding and and uh, and deleting his emotes and stuff like that. That that's like what kind of makes my makes gets me a little bit worried because I'm like, oh man, that this seems like seems severe and uh, and it, it's really hard to 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 take your mind from oh this is severe and figure out exactly where to go with it so honestly we're just gonna have to wait and see like um i don't think twitch is i I mean i'm not i don't think twitch is gonna come out and say it so i'm not sure where it'll come from maybe you know maybe it'll come from slasher at some point but yeah it's it's uh it's it's really quite quite a complicated and difficult to understand situation well a lot of people in chat are are pointing out and we we touched on this briefly but just to underline it a bit more pointing out how weird the ending to his last stream was yeah because he seemed to sort of like be taken out of character or out of the moment <clears throat> excuse me he looked at his phone that you know you could infer that maybe he saw something on there that kind of shook him out of out of the moment and then you know he ended his stream with these sort of like disjointed comments about like we'll get through this it's a tough time it was really strange like i said we don't really know some of the yeah, we'll get through this Champions Club. Uh, course, yeah, I, I know it's a tough. T- because I don't know this one. Well. Life's weird Maybe right now. I. We'll get through this, okay? And. Uh, hey, Christopher. <laughs> fuck. Um, I mean, I guess the the elephant in the room when it comes to Doc is, you know, did he did he do something as some people on Twitter, on Reddit, um, and other platforms allege uh, that could possibly have been criminal in nature um, mm-hmm. because uh, a lot of the what we discussed today is that a lot of the things that have happened to him via twitch are somewhat unprecedented like the sort of wiping of history yeah um which you know sort of i i think logically leads one to think well you know perhaps it isn't just a case of escalating bands and this was the straw that broke the camel's back which is what we talked about when we talked about the david ike stuff perhaps this is um, actually a bigger than everything else uh, kind of situation and there is a ton of speculation out there and that's all it is right now it's complete and utter speculation you know it is the elephant in the room we have to put it out there and we also have to say we just don't know maybe it's because he talked about a crazy conspiracy theorist who you know, has been accused of being a Holocaust denier on stream. Maybe it's because of that. Maybe it's because he broke something in his contract. And and it is possible, it is within the realm of possibility that it is something more serious 
and that's what the speculation is about based on the consequences he's faced with twitch the scrubbing of history and the silence from his camp or the relative silence right yeah. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring that notification bell. For unique bite-sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit up our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages.